Hey everyone and welcome to a special Planet Zoo build. Yes, it's been inevitable. We built the wonderful Guardians of the Galaxy Habitat for our friend the Raccoon. And you will see that this one over here is a specific struggle because, oh boy, I had a lot of trouble building this vehicle, first of all. Um, but, you know, uh, the chances were good that we were seeing this type of uh, movie habitat. And I haven't done a movie habitat in a long, long time and I wouldn't even call that one in particular a perfect one but more about that later in this video, especially in the real-time part. But here's me to talk a lot about the new DLC and obviously this build in particular. Now, it's maybe not the first go to take gothic medieval set to build a, well, you know, spaceship. And um, in fact, I couldn't even use too many of the pieces. Some of the new iron pieces just worked out fine. But all over, I have to say, Sci-fi might be one of these themes that doesn't particularly work well in Planet Zoo, um, especially when it's not the Star Wars type of uh, style. Like the Star Wars style works pretty well because there's a lot of concrete involved and um, many of the spaceships are relatively blocky, if you will. They don't have like organic form factors. They mostly have like a very blocky kind of uh, triangular or like geometrical, you know, form. Um, but this, this over here, oh my God, this, Starship from Star Lord, like it is absolutely ridiculous to build and honestly though at some point I just gave up <laughs> it was just like too much um, I spent over two and a half hours only on that spaceship and I was like nah, that, that's maybe a little bit too much <clears throat> and so at the end of the day I decided to go uh, for really a movie scene and this is what you're going to see at the end of the video but now <clears throat> there are a couple of things I want to talk about also sorry for my voice it's a little bit stressed these days uh, lots to do lots to do less sleep um, or very very few sleep hours of sleep so I I should say. Um, so hence this is a little bit uh, of a problematic thing, situation with my voice but it should be fine. Now you can see I'm testing a couple of things. I'm making like a base form factor over here which uh, turned out to be most of the shape that I'm going to use throughout the build. I thought it's just going to be one of the early development stages but at the end it turned out that this is the only valuable thing to use. Now I tried a lot of things that I haven't even included into the video because it was just too much struggle um, and just too much pain to see that. Uh, and at the end of the day, uh, I have to just admit that sci-fi is maybe not the right theme to go with when you play Planet Zoo at this point. Like, modernist bu buildings are fine as long as it's kind of, you know, very easily shaped, but as this... Guardians of the Galaxy style is very much organic, you know, very rounded forms and <clears throat> just very much inspired by nature, it is quite hard to achieve that. I tried my best to capture the essence of this vehicle. It's, you know, proportion-wise and stuff, it's super much away from the original. And I had a hard time finding um, finding the right inspiration for that. And I, I ended up looking at the trailer a little bit more and at the movie itself just to find the inspiration because from like concept art of this vehicle there are like one trillion versions of it and I think it's basically from the comics and everything like that like movie series tv series blah 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 um so there's like a lot to find when you go and uh, google for this vehicle now at the end of the day I decided to do a little bit of freestyle because you wouldn't technically see it in the foreground anyways too much and so I decided you know what it's it's just fine the way it is but oh my god it has been such an insane trouble to build this vehicle. I can't even put that in words. But this is not what we want to talk about all the time. Um, I want to talk about the DLC and in particular uh, this build. Now, you might have seen by this build by now that um, I'm doing something completely different than the DLC is meant to be doing. Uh, it's not medieval, it's not gothic, it's not spooky, it's, not, it's nothing like that. I'm just going with the movie theme for day one. And that is because I felt in order to do something special, I had to branch out from the DLC. And that is in particular not a good sign for the DLC, I guess, because it, it just is too much for me personally. Like, it's a good and very, you know, usable and a very very yeah it's, it's like a, f a gap filling uh, DLC if you will there are a lot of brilliant pieces in there but for me it's just a little bit too normal like none of the animals and none of the uh, pieces just screamed that I want to do something special with them and so at the end of the day I decided to do something completely off the chart and go with the theme over here and you can see I'm trying at least to use the pieces given these are some of the new iron pieces formed to these kind of wing pieces 
again, it's it's just me trying out the boundaries of the game and the boundaries of the DLC. I think it's fine to do something completely different. I wish it was just a little bit more, you know, available to to use the DLC for something special. And, you know, I'd, obviously I could have gone like building Hogwarts or something like that. That would have been easy now because if you want to do Hogwarts, now you have all the pieces you need. It's pretty much at the table. Uh, you can have it now. Just in general, I think the DLC is pretty great in terms of building pieces and stuff. And the animals, as I said in my overview, if you haven't seen that one, by the way, it's on the channel too. Uh, the, the animals are amongst, if not the best animals uh, that we got with the DLCs in terms of how well they are, um, yeah, just realized in terms of animations, in terms of fur, in terms of skin, in terms of uh, overall model. There's nothing, like legit, there's nothing, not a single bit I could uh, criticize on these animals. I mean, maybe other people will, but me personally, I can't. They are just all perfectly done. The quality of the animals is just freaking amazing and this is why uh, I, I thought you know from the animal side of things things are good but the choice and the roster of animals might be the one that is a bit upsetting for me but okay this is not something that should change the likes of this build because i mean rocket who doesn't love rocket i also wanted to build um our friend groot but i will potentially do this in a one-off, maybe in a stream tonight, who knows, uh, so if you want to check out my stream, I try to stream tonight, I'm not sure if I can, but keep your eyes peeled on Twitch, I will highly recommend to you to follow me on Twitch, and of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel over here, please do so, because um, unfortunately, I will <laughs> I will fail out on my, you know, yearly go annual goal quite dramatically, I, I wanted to go to 80,000, but that is just way too far off, um, so if you want to help me at least to get some closer to it, please subscribe if you haven't already, that will help me out and make the little camel a bit more happy, but um, yeah, you can tell from the build now that we are setting up a scene, and I'm I'm quite happy with how it turned out in the end. Um, it may not look like this, but we made some ground in the last 20 minutes of this build. It's insane, like as always. The setup is the hardest, and once you got it, um, things just come together naturally. And I wanted to make like a little crash scene over here in which we see a rocket just running around searching maybe for some help or something like that. That is the idea about this scene. Um, so the spaceship has crashed down into the ground, and then we will see some smoke, we will see some light, and this is also why I have been building uh, quite a long time in night mode, which is a bit unusual maybe for time lapses because you haven't seen that one too often. But at the end of the day, I wanted to make it a night scene, and so it was just like obvious that I needed to build in nighttime. Uh, I just figured, you know, because of the colors and stuff, they just seem so different at night and that is just why I did this. Uh, in particular, you can still see how much these new pieces can help. It's, it's kind of it's really funny sometimes, you know, you do something completely different and then you end up with something that shows you how good the update is. As you can see over here, I used the new glowing decals to create this like crash line where the ground is burning, you know, from kind of whatever. I don't know why there would be magma, but I'm, I'm just thinking that there's just a lot of heat and fire and stuff that made the ground look like this. Uh, but yeah, it, it, again, it, as always, it's just me testing the boundaries of the set, how many new pieces we have that we can really utilize. And at the end of the day, I figured there's a lot of great stuff in here. That's always the same. I have to do certain things like that to make my mind go, okay, yeah, well, that works. But yeah, as always, I'm trying my best to capture the essence of what I wanted to do. So this scene in particular is the essence of the Guardians of the Galaxy style in Planet Zoo. That's all I wanted to achieve. And then obviously the, the whole thing is crowned by the fact that we actually have a raccoon in game. So the actual rocket is in here. And I had some kind of cool screenshots, the one you've seen at the beginning and the one you've seen in the thumbnail. Uh, so yeah, you will also see kind of a new, nice scene in the real time part at the end, which will be a pretty short one but you will see it nonetheless, so it's kind of cool. And you can see I tested a lot of things, how I wanted the style of this planet where they crashed, and I ended up with a very rocky kind of theme uh, for many reasons. Like, first of all, to keep it rather simple, um, I tried to go with a couple of plants and stuff, but I ended up not liking it. It just felt weird with these plants, and to make that really look good, you have to spend hours and hours uh, creating your own style to make it believable. So that's one of these things that people always tend to forget about. You can't just build sci-fi without 
thinking about what this place would be like how for example the atmosphere would influence it and how for example the fauna and so on would be so if you start off very rocky it's pretty unlikely to have something very jungle-ish around the corner and so I ended up going with these kind of low growing things like these mushroom kind of things so, because I, I, I felt like this is more realistic than just doing some crazy plants and then again not having the time so for example with the plants i needed to make them really glowing and spark and just make sure that this all looks great but you can tell um with adding a lot of details here and there and a lot of lights the essence is captured and it's looking more and more like what i wanted it to do these neon lights over here just made the show really pop on it not neon i think these are like street lights or whatever but that one was really what i wanted to do that was really looking good put it some little enrichment items here and there and that's about it so i think it's time to jump over into the real time part and greet you guys with the awesomeness of this build Hey, right, there we go this is the final build as you can see this is the scene and i'm just gonna hit play real quick so that rocket is finally moving and you can see this is the build i'm just quite happy with the scene like this is this is the movie scene you know we're just in a movie scene and i'm just gonna zoom out so zip. And there you have it. It's just really like a movie theme. Um, it, it's been quite hard to get this thing in, uh, but in terms of the angle, um, it just works fine. As soon as I go here, it just works fine. Um, this little notch over here is just not, it's just there to have like a kind of backlight and just making it really feel the same. But this is the habitat, guys. This is the movie habitat. This is the Guardians of the Galaxy habitat with a lot of glowing fungus around. Um, also, <laughs> this scene over here was also just helping me to set up a nice little screenshot. See, this is something you might also need to consider when you do stuff. Uh, the game, unfortunately, sometimes is a little bit dark and especially in the night mode. Um, you need something to to make the animal glow from in the front. So if you, <laughs> that's just by the way a perfect shot. <laughs> I gotta have to make that a shot because it's just so good. I I don't know why it just popped up all of a sudden, but you know I'm, I take that. It's it's fine. You know, Rocket is just having its its best time. Of hello, I'm just there. You go. This is kind of neat. Uh, can I zoom out a little? There you go. Rocket is just chilling in front of its in front of its. Uh, Spaceship, well, isn't it? Not it's uh, it's, uh, it's spaceship. I can't talk anymore. Um, it's a spaceship. Oh my god! Let's not move too much with the mouse. This Ansel shot is just very finicky at the moment. Anyhow, so there you go. Rocket is having the best time of its life. And there you go, just chilling in front of us. And look at that! I love, I love what happens before they go to sleep. Just how the little. This is what I meant with the animations. They are just brilliant. But there's not really that much more to say, guys. This is the movie scene, Guardians of the Galaxy. I really hope you guys enjoyed the build, even though the model is maybe not the quality I usually have with these sci-fi builds. But I explained i think i did explain enough why that is and it still took me over five and a half hours to build this whole thing so don't think it's it's been less work than usually uh it's taking its time you know to make the concept and whatnot anyhow it's just a little friendly reminder if you guys want to help me out the best thing to do so would be subscribing to the channel if you haven't already i'm always happy about new friends and most of the times people are very happy to stay here so thank you so so much uh for joining the community if you do and also if you want to catch me on live i try to be live on twitch tonight Night. Linky is in the description as always and I would be more than happy to welcome you over there as well. Now if you want to see more stuff or check out the updates or whatnot click to the top right now. Have a good Monday, have a good week. I talk to you in the next one and goodbye.